One question I get asked all the time is, how do you do your references? Which article to choose? How can you do it the most efficiently? Hi, this is Dr. Jia, and today I'm going to teach you how to do your references. Before I start, let's talk about what's the reason we need to cite other papers or do our references. Number one, to respect intellectual property and to avoid plagiarism. Number two, to provide evidence and to support our claims and arguments. And number three, give more details on the source document so that your readers, when they want more information, they know where to go. So when do you need to include references? The simple answer is whenever the source data comes from somewhere else. This includes study results, certain statistical methods, guidelines, conference proceedings, quotations, and websites. So how do you do it most efficiently? Depending on the journal article you're targeting, the format of the references may be different. So I recommend always reading the author guideline before you start. The second tip is to cite as you write. So what I mean by that is when you're writing the first draft or you're still thinking through and you found an article that you think may go into this part, make sure you copy the PMID or the DOI within the manuscript itself, or you can put it as a comment. The reason you want to do that is because when you are writing the manuscript, sometimes the process takes weeks and months. And by the time you're finalizing your references, you may lose which article you want to cite. The third tip is to use a referencing manager software. When I first started, I thought you had to write the references, the name, the title, all manually. The problem is once you shift the paragraphs or sequence, all the numbers will be messed up. So these are some of the benefits of using a referencing manager software. Number one, it reduces mistakes. Number two, the order of your references will update automatically as you move your paragraphs around. Number three, you can actually change the referencing style easily. For example, when you first submit your article, the journal wants AMA style. After it gets rejected, the next journal needs a BMJ style. So actually you can even choose to change the whole set of your references to BMJ referencing style. The next question, how do we get access to referencing manager software? So there are free ones and paid ones. Let's start with the free ones first. The two that are most popular and widely used are number one, Mendeley, and number two, Zotero. Then there are paid ones. The one I use is EndNote. They are expensive, but you need to be resourceful as well. So look into your institution. Sometimes the research center, your department, or the institutional library may give you access to a paid referencing manager software. If you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up. All right, next question. How do you find articles to cite? The direct method is you go to a database. For example, you can go to PubMed or Google Scholar, Web of Science. Here you put in the keywords and start searching for articles. And in the indirect way is once you find an article that's suitable for you, I want you to also look into the reference section and now you have 20 to 30 articles that you can pick from. Although this is not an exhaustive list, the authors have actually taken the time to comb through the literature and picked up what is the most suitable for that article. Then the next question, when there are so many articles out there, which one should you choose? Consider these three things. Number one, the topic must be the most relevant to your project. Number two, the highest possible quality you can find. And number three, the most recent. I'm not saying that the article needs to come from the highest impact journal because depending on your field, the literature may be limited and all you can get is case reports. This is how you get started with referencing, but you could still be making mistakes that cause you to lose your credibility or cause you to waste a lot more time. So watch the next video on the top mistakes to avoid when doing your references. I'll see you there.